Hey guys, this is uh, Danny Zabo here. Uh, Align had sent me a new TB70, their new 700 kit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open the box and see uh, see what's in it and see some changes that have done. So, start with the uh, canopy box here. I'm gonna... So inside this, they got a nice pre-painted canopy. Nice bright colors. Kind of looking at some changes they've done here with the canopy. Super light. Noticing some uh, quick disconnect canopy posts, canopy clips instead of the old cotter pin style. It's kind of nice. Kind of painted the inside black so it's not all fiberglass, just white and all that. Kind of gives it a better look. New uh, uh, line building towel. I've always liked these to build on so you're not scratching stuff up, losing stuff. Kind of like the new color they've gone with since I've been with them. Here we got the, uh, the frames in here. You got to take down so you don't lose them. So it looks like they're still going with the... Uh, Kind of stacking frame uh, design. You got uppers and lowers. Nice and light feeling, stiff. A lot of uh, plastic molding on there for durability. There's a battery tray. So the same style battery trays of uh, 700s and other Align helicopters had sliding in and out of the, the frame to make it easy for swapping packs out. The other side of the uh, top frame here. Blade holder and some Loctite and some zip ties. You know, st standard kit stuff they have. Nice to always have everything with that. Get into the rotor head box here. Looks like some stuff has uh, been pre assembled. Tail box. I would definitely go through, you know, disassemble, reassemble, apply your own Loctite. I'm not sure if it's uh, ready to go or not, but I would just double check everything. Looks like we have a new smaller vertical tail fin. We got our tail blades here, some boom clamps, and some more frame parts here. It's like for the uh, front nose for the ESC bracket, some uh, some posts and everything like that. Here's something new with the line I haven't noticed before is a gear reduction uh, drivetrain. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, belt driven drivetrain and everything like that. So I'm going to. Look forward to seeing how that works out. And then once again, we got a rotor head. Looks slightly different. I think they're uh, modified a little bit, making it a little lighter, a little bit different geometry than everything else. Um, you know, once again, it's pre-assembled a little bit. I'm going to take that all apart, make sure it's all locked tight the way it should be. Main shaft, swash plate. And here's some belts. Here's for the motor drive belt and the tail belt. So also the uh, belt driven tail tensioner. Here's the uh, motor mount and the top plate for the main shaft bearings and all that. So all the servos mount to the top it looks like here. So it's all nice motor mount servos. Uh, a little different layout than what I've been used for with a line back in the day as well. So. Something new here is the skids. Skids look different, super light. Very strong feeling, a lot more rigidity. Um, looks like a little bit more mounting holes on there for the different frame styles. Looks great, feels great. We get into the uh, main blades here box. Looks like we got a nice rigid new boom here something new on this that i haven't seen is uh 
this orange plastic piece here. So I've kind of looked at some of the pictures there. They have a new style belt tensioning uh, clamp for it. So that's going to be interesting to see how that works. That's nice. Nice little design there. And we got our main blades and our skid tubes. And then in our electric box, this is just a kit version. So it's not gonna come with the ESC or servos or anything like that, but it will come with the aligned motor. So that's nice there. Looks like it came with the uh, Dominator 490 KV. So I believe there's two different pinions for it. Um, so you can do different gear ratios depending if you get the higher or lower KV motor. So we're going to look into that, see which gear we should need for that. But that is everything in the box. Um, we're going to get building here, and it looks great. I can't wait to get it in the air and uh, go from there. But here's going to be our, we're going to go with the Align servos, the DS820s for cyclic, the DS825s for the tail servo. And something new for me this year, um, getting back into it. I am going to be switching over to Fataba equipment. So we're going to go with the uh, 760R. I have not flown one before. So I'm looking forward to new equipment, new helicopter, getting back into it. So I'm really excited to try this and to go with that, going with the uh, 16SZ. So a whole new feel, a whole new helicopter. I've been out of it for a while, but I'm excited to get back into it and uh, see how this goes.